What have they done to you? Is it drugs? Is it brainwashing? Come on. Hey, talk to me. Of course, but only for a minute. Then I have to get to work on this pigsty. Scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, throw that beautiful champagne footage. For your invitation, champagne. to experience the clean, the chaos, and all of the empowerment secret you desire. You know we got some Hella hood with class, baby, I'm doing one Come sip and save us so we can spill some And if you lost your way, we'll leave the light on displays of negativity will be deliciously repackaged and properly returned to sender. Only good vibes allowed beyond this point. Now if you're ready, come on in. What's going on, Champagne Gang? Fizz fam, confidants. Welcome to the chalet located in Champagne City, baby. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm the Empress. Welcome. You're joining me today for some grown discussions and bubbly banter, not to mention some champagne conversations. So if you're ready to sip, savor, and spill, then come on in. And if you're a non-alcoholic kind of confidant, grab you a non-alcoholic bubbly and get in here. It's all good. And if you're listening in the morning, go ahead and throw you some orange juice in and make it a mimosa. So before we get into it, let us start off with a sparkling affirmation to kind of end our day right. So take those glasses, raise them high in the air. I don't care if they're filled with sparkling water. (laughs) You are a beacon of brilliance, shining brighter with every step you take. Embrace your unique sparkle and let it illuminate the path to your destiny and your dream. Remember, every challenge is just a stepping stone to greatness. You've got the power, you've got the passion, you've got the perseverance, and you've got the perspective to conquer anything that comes your way. So pop that bubble, toast to your incredible journey, and let's elevate together. Cheers to leveling up and living your best life. And cheers to you, confidant, for you are worth it. So, here's my problem with Jayla, right? And if you don't know who Jayla is, Jayla starred on Bad Girls Club back in the day and was reintroduced on Baddies on the Zeus Network. So, my problem with Jayla is she gives me this. Roger, put it down. What? Oh, come on, Roger. Roger. Why does it say Sarah? Roger, you should put it down. Now, get out of here. Oh, stop. Would you just go? Let's get out of here. She does. And if you don't know what this movie is, this is Step for Wives. And Step for Wives is basically get out for white men trying to create the perfect wife. So you have all of these women who have their own opinions, they're opinionated, and they're basically being turned into zombies for men's pleasure. Basically, that's what it is good movie and you should really see it so maybe i'll review it in my next edition of push or pass movie reviews but this is what jayla gives me she gives me robotic we already picked our room so so there's no way she gives me empty how about her nuts she don't even like you for real she gives me scripted guess what hey clarina and the rest of these dusty bitches, whoever, do not motherfucking matter. We taking shots Take and we turn shot. up, having turn a good up. motherfucking yeah, time. Good time. Right. Have fun, she, she gives me clones. Hey, what is it? When people walk into a room and a person look at me, you know what the first thing they say to me? They be like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Look at your face. Right. The fact that I just had to fight a hoe the other day and I got to put on color corrector because she scratched me under my eye. I got to wake up. I'm a skincare girl. And the crazy thing is, I planned on doing this video about a week ago, but... I had to put it on pause because I was covering the Sade Robinson and 
my fizz feed conversations and a few other videos and i also covered a few hat chronicles and of course the diddy thing today had me hotter than dragon's breath and i had to go live to cover that so i said let me get back to jayla because there's a method to my madness jayla is a gorgeous girl don't get me wrong but she is not authentic. When you look at Jayla, put it like this. If you've ever watched Michael Myers and heard the doctor when he described him and when he said when he looks in his eyes, there's nothing there, just emptiness. That's what Jayla gives me. She gives me chameleon, like she's doing anything she has to do in order to fit in. And that's what frustrates me because it's like these networks are creating these mindless zombies. Like these girls are being lobotomized, no personality, no individuality, and can't think or move on their own. Like puppets on a string being strung along. This is what she gives me. What are you doing? So when I saw her in this video that I'm about to show y'all, it truly let me know that I was right. In this video that I found in the streets of Instagram, she starts talking about the fight she had with, Big, with Biggie. So check this out real quick. Me and Biggie, we're actually cool. You know, we're cordial. We're not like best friends or anything, but there's no beef between us. Like, you know, I just saw her, you know, before the like before the premiere or like, yeah, like days like leading up to the premiere, I saw her, we all went to Highlight Room together. And then I seen her again, like at the premiere, we took picture together and stuff. Yeah. But went out after, I'm a grown woman at the end of the day, like that was for TV. I heard that. And yes. when them cameras go off and we gotta be around each other in real life, there are no cameras around. When the TV, when it's time to be back on TV, I mean, I, I, yeah, yeah, in TV land, I might not like you in TV land, but in real life, I don't have no problem with you. Like, you ain't, you ain't yeah. cuss me out mm -hmm. and slap me and try to blow my house up or fight my mom. Like, you know what I mean? Like, or nothing crazy. She, so it's not that deep. It ain't that deep. Yeah. She hasn't done anything extreme enough to me in real life for me to care about what happened while we were on tv and like be bringing it into like this you know stratosphere so when i say she doesn't give authentic and genuine and she seems scripted and like a puppet on a string and seems empty like there's nothing there like she's robotic a step for wife this is why out of her mouth not mine because if y'all remember, she tried to create a narrative a little while back when she called herself out the blue trying to out Zeus and put Zeus on blast with these posts. I've had them for a while and was waiting for just the right moment to make a video so that I can release them. And I think now is the right moment. So I got these pictures of Reality Gone Bad T on Instagram and um, they captured some posts of Jayla and they made this post stating that Baddie's Caribbean Jayla blasts Zeus and Lemmy for continuously disrespecting her during the filming. And you know, everybody calls him Lemon Pepper, calls him Lemmy, well, over here we call him the Lemu and we call the Zeus Network the Lemu Island. <laughs> that's how we refer to them and their foolishness so then she goes on um then she goes on with these posts she says i'm done i'm going home and i'm telling everything that i know i swear to god lemmy well plumber told security to leave me and let me walk by myself and told production same thing called me all kind of bitches and cussed me out my lawyer not responding because it's Sunday. I need an entertainment lawyer ASAP. DM me on IG for my email. I'm done play with Zeus. First of all, your lawyer doesn't respond to you because it's Sunday. What if you get locked up on a Sunday? I'm confused. I thought if you had a lawyer on retainer, then that lawyer is available to you at any time you need it. See what I mean about these girls in these networks? They so smart, they dumb. And... Uh, let me continue. So the next one says, today is the last day that anybody will ever disrespect me. On my life, I'll lay it down for itch a n. Think he about to talk to me crazy. Let me get somewhere safe and I promise I'm telling y'all everything, single thing from the top to the bottom. I'm telling and I'm telling everything from baddies south until now. Y'all, oh Lord Jesus, I 
that. The more young people post on social media, the more stressed I get trying to understand what the hell it is that they trying to say. I promise. So she posted all of this, and she's stating that she gonna pop the bottles and release all the champagne secrets, honey. But for me, it was so random, and it felt like it had it felt like it had no substance. It felt like she was looking to be relevant in a moment. Not saying that she don't have tea, because I believe she does. I believe anyone that has visited the Limu Island for any amount of time has some tea. But I feel like she's trying to do what she thinks she needs to do in order to fit. She thought she was going to stun a girl us and release this tea and be able to steal the attention, but you're not stunner. That's the problem. You don't have the authenticity or the authentic ability to ca to capture the attention of the crowd. You don't have authentically the authenticity to capture the attention of the crowd. You're scripted. And this is what happens when you go along to get along. You make up and say anything and do anything out of the blue just for a moment. Because then all of a sudden she comes right back and then she says this. Clear up a few things that I said on Twitter yesterday. I was very emotional and in my feelings. I'm very tired from working and filming, being in a house full of women and being away from my family. It can be a very stressful environment and my emotions got the best of me. Um, I exaggerated when I said that I was being verbally assaulted and I wasn't in a safe space, but I have not been assaulted in any type of way. I am perfectly fine, guys. I'm perfectly fine, everything is okay. And I just wanna say that I absolutely love working with the Zeus Network. I've been a part of the Zeus universe for years now. And I spend a lot of time with these people on camera and off camera. And at this point, we're like one big family. And sometimes family members don't always see eye to eye. And when you really love and care about people as a whole, sometimes shit happens. Hey guys, people as a whole, Sometimes shit happens and yesterday was just kind of one of those moments and I didn't really have to take it to the internet and I did. And so I just want to apologize not only to my friends and family and my fans for scaring y'all, but I also want to apologize to Lemmy and everyone at the Zeus Network for going that route because I definitely did not have to do that and I don't want anyone to think that I'm in harm's way or that these people are doing anything to me because they're absolutely, they're absolutely not. Miss Ma'ams, excuse me? What do you mean you were just emotional? I, I mean, are y'all okay? This generation does the most insane-ish in the name of being emotional. Who says I'm just going to wake up and choose violence? And somehow you could just come back and say, whoopsie, and the world would be like, oh, okay, girl, it happens. No, it doesn't happen. You're falling right into the Zeus trap. What respecting high fashion company is going to want to work with you and this is your behavior? Lying and making up stuff or covering up stuff just to go along to get along. And I'm sure Natalie had something to do with you taking it back. I keep telling y'all, y'all are looking at these individuals aspiring to be like them or on their level, but you forget there's another level that's higher than them. There are rules for every level that you ascend to, and there are some levels that this behavior will not be tolerated. So you're stunting your growth by participating in trash like this just so that you can have a name that's only going to go so far. Instead of going on a fashion show to promote your fashion as a reputable businesswoman, you go on bad baddies and become the villain of the show because everyone would rather be on this level than shine on their own. And she comes off very tubeish to me. Every time she opens her mouth, she comes off like she's auditioning for a Tubi movie. And if you watch Tubi, a lot of the actors have no connectability. I wouldn't be surprised if she wasn't on the next, if she wasn't the next one to get a surgery because they all just want to fit in. No originality. And if you were threatening to bring down Zeus, then you were also threatening to bring down your so-called friend, Miss Natalie Nunn. And look at Natalie. I'm starting to believe she took a trip to Goals right after Roly did. <laughs> or she on Ozempic or something because Natalie hasn't been this small since Bad Girls Club. Look at her. Look at the pictures. All the seasons of baddies, Natalie has never been this snatched. Look at the picture. Wait a minute, I think I got proof. Cause look at the belly button. 
the belly button never lies now i don't know if she got a bbl or not but she for sure looked like she had at least lipo whenever someone's stomach looks like someone took a pencil and poked a hole in it then you know they had something done <laughs> So I'm wondering if Ro if Natalie took a, a trip down to Gold's plastic surgery along with Roly and just didn't get it filmed. I think Scotty is developing her own personality on the show, but Jayla, Jayla, baby, you do better just showing us the authentic you because I don't think we've even seen it yet. Not this dolled up version that you want us to believe is you because I'm starting to believe that you need to change your favorite colors from white because you've definitely been soiled. The way she behaved on the last episode is no different than the behavior that we saw with Rosie. Only difference is she's smaller and she's the pretty girl. Let's be honest. If Roly was Natalie, baddies wouldn't have no motion because y'all would have canceled her for the stuff that Natalie is doing a long time ago. Keep that same energy with Jayla and that fake drummed up storyline. Her words, not mine. Drop in the comments and let me know what you think about Jayla in this video. Because listen, to my true supporters, please make sure that you guys like the video on your way in because I do have some trolls under the stairs who just love to unlike my videos and it's fine. Crazy part is they're even unliking videos where there's no talking in it, it's just news broadcast. <laughs> but that's your choice. If you want to be a hater all your life, have at it, be my guest. At least you gave it a view because that's what really counts. I am up to 300 subscribers and I want to drop this video in here for y'all subscribers to let you know how much I appreciate you. I did launch it on the page, but let me drop it real quick for those who haven't seen it. Only the hard and strong may call themselves confidants. Only the hard, only the strong. We face challenges head on. We conquer doubts. And we rise above limitations, inspiring others with our courage and determination. We are. 300 strong and we will support and uplift each other our journey together is just beginning there is no limit to what we can achieve confidants what is your profession See my friend, See my friend. nothing but nothing. Soldiers, soldiers and empowerment over here. So thank you. Thank you so much. Every video that you see on my page is created and edited by me. And I'm not monetized, so I just do this stuff for the love of the craft, for real, for real. And to get my voice out there which I encourage my confidants to do if you have something to say. Starting a channel isn't as hard as you think it is. I love playing with editing and creating, so I learn something new and create something new. That's just how it is. But here's to my supporters. I love you guys, and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If I do lives, they're generally going to be at 9.30 at night, so I hope to catch some of you all on the next live. And if you want, send some love to the Cash App if you want to support the channel. And until next time, confidants, always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink till we meet again. Ta-ta. Shit.